Here we describes counterflow cooling towers, the most common type of cooling tower used in industry. The picture shows a typical counterflow induced draft cooling tower in operation. The draft is induced by a fan placed at the top of the tower drawing the cooling air. Counterflow means the flow of air is parallel and opposite in direction to the flow of the water being cooled. This results in a greater thermal efficiency than cross-flow designs. Here you can see the cooling tower in action. The internal structure of a two-cell counterflow cooling tower shown here is made of wood to lower capital costs. California redwood is used because it has a natural resistance to decay and insect attack. This schematic shows the elements of a general counterflow cooling tower. The cooling air drawn by the fans flows upward against the downward flowing water. Shown here are single-cell counterflow cooling towers. The outside shell is made of both steel and fiberglass. The internal packing, fill, is made up of polyvinyl chloride. Using fiberglass and PVC as construction materials ensures good corrosion resistance. This is the schematic of a counterflow cooling tower. Counterflow cooling towers are used for air conditioning, process cooling and power generation. They can be seen in steel industries, automotive foundries and waste to energy plants. Counterflow cooling towers are designed to cool 5 Fahrenheit wet bulb temperature and are highly efficient. Design allows air to flow at a relatively high velocity preventing the backflow of humid air. More economical than natural draft tower for water flow rates less than 19,200 gallons per minute but counterflow cooling tower need fan power to operate. Fans at the top of the tower leads to structural and noise problems.